Yeah, so we're having a fun day out here today, boy. <laughs> We've been hiking the Rim Trail. I got Helen and Eric here that come to get their rock star boy, Bjorn. <laughs> and we've been hiking up there on top and on the way back here the sun came out and uh, we decided to come down and find the old cabin that Bjorn had found for us uh, about two weeks ago. So what do you guys think about uh, today so far? Big day for you getting Bjorn. Oh yeah, yeah, it's been really good. Um, Fantastic. We were out for a hike this morning and uh, with Mon and uh, Tecla and uh, just awesome, exciting day, a fabulous country, yeah. Well, you guys should wait a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's yeah. a long wait. <laughs> but it makes us super excited for getting Bjorn home, right, and yeah. getting out in the mountains with us and yeah, yeah. so exciting. Well, and he's such a rock star. He, Bjorn, come up. He's he's sitting right there looking out yeah. on the vista. Showing off is what he's doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's a good boy. <laughs> so you had the whole day here. Now, you guys had came once before, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, and uh, we had a great hike with him then, but he's yeah. changed quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's so much bigger, and, I mean, just watching him with Mon, it's just like watching a mirror image, you know, just smaller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just, yeah, fantastic. He's really turned out so well. Yeah, really. Well, good. and he's going to such a good home. He bonded with you guys so good <laughs> right from the start. He came over, sat by. It was just awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, you you had an elk count growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your folks had them. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we were we were very fortunate because. Uh, Eric's mom and dad came with us today and on the first hike. So uh, um, uh, John and uh, Cheryl uh, came and we had a nice uh, upper upper ridge area hike earlier. And then we uh, went back, had some lunch, and uh, they went uh, to another camp uh, location. But it was really cool for them yeah. to come along. Yeah. Yeah. They just yeah. loved it. They just <laughs> loved it. And so... It, that early experience you had with that elk hound was what kind of wanted you wanted at, at some point to have another. Yeah, yeah. No, they're uh, growing up with elk hounds. They were I mean, as a child. They were such friendly, social dogs. Like just fabulous. Like just awesome temperament and just really good in a family setting. Like we, you know, around the house was fantastic. Out on the trail was fantastic. It was just a really nice dog to have and really smart. You know. Uh, really trainable and I mean we go through our, all our photos from when we were younger and you know <laughs> there's all these images of the dogs right right there with us doing all the different adventures and stuff like that so yeah, yeah that just weird. a really good breed you know now even Sophie they're waiting patiently eh? they're well, here. I don't know about patiently <laughs> patient yeah <laughs> they've been blowing your phone up yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> super excited yeah and, uh, They've never, you know, this this will be their first dog. This is my first dog too. So uh, all three of us, it's a totally new and exciting experience. Yeah, very but cool. I can just tell Bjorn's gonna fit right in, like right into our lives and yeah. the things that we like to do. Yeah. Um, so well, that is uh, that's right. That your lifestyle is suited for him. That's yeah. the cool part too, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, you now, <laughs> when you. Uh, when you look at recreation yeah. and you look at lifestyle, the elk hound is one of the best dogs for fitting into uh, uh, outdoor adventures, but also urban adventures, and just being around the family. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, and you've already experienced mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and now, Helen, you'll have a chance to have that, uh, I guess you'd call it companionship with a with the dog because they bond so well yeah. and little Bjorn he's already been bonded <laughs> to you guys so good yeah. uh, I'd like to get him up here hey Tora you come here Tuva come Bjorn come come by me here good come on girls oh there's my girls there's my girls this is Tora this is Tuva so Bjorn, we brought Bjorn's them along <laughs> <laughs> where did you get all that dirt Tora <laughs> She's been digging the ground. Come on, buddy. Ground squirrels. Bjorn, come by me, boy. Right here. <laughs> by me. Come, boy. Quit goofing around. 
What a rock star. Good boy. This is the special boy right here. <laughs> Come on right on up, buddy. <laughs> Keep going. There's the boy. You've been boy. getting the dessert, too. <laughs> That's a good boy. Jerry Coy. <laughs> Now I gotta ask you guys now, yeah. when you started looking for dogs, yeah. how did you end up coming all the way out here? I know you're out of Banff and yeah. that's a long haul. Well, I think it was, uh, we saw, we started seeing the videos. You know? Okay. And it was, um, you know, just seeing the caliber of dog that you had and just the, just how much love you pour into these guys and attention to detail, you know, just, it was phenomenal, you know, just, uh, really key us in, I think, you know? Well, it's a, it's a real big honor for me to be able to put a dog in your family of this caliber. He, yeah. he is a rock star. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm, I, it's a great honor for us to be able to do that. Yeah. And uh, one of the things, this is a, a pretty boy, Leaf and Luna pup. Yeah. And uh, the genetics in this dog are, are geared to working with families and especially Leafy's ultra friendly, yeah. so he fits the social world uh, very, yeah. very good. <laughs> and yet, uh, Luna, she's the working line, so you can go hiking and yeah. have no fears. Yeah. And what it's done is give you a dog that's completely balanced in all aspects, very mentally oh, stable. He's just solid. Yeah. Like, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> he's just. It <laughs> is. Yeah. <laughs> we really. I <laughs> gotta thank Bjorn because he's showing off right now, but he's doing good. Uh, he's good like point. this all the time. Yeah. He just does this. <laughs> yeah, he's a good fella. <laughs> yeah, you're a good boy. So he's yeah. the founder of this cabin here. He found it. <laughs> so uh, I don't know uh, what old Swede built that thing, but it's nicely notched and yeah. well put together. So uh, it would have been a good old Swede put it together, but. Uh, Good for a Norwegian elk hound to find it. Might have been a Norwegian that <laughs> cut them notches too. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so we've been having a fun day. This is really good. He's been here for just over the 16 week mark, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, he's been on what's called my Desna training program. And his aunt here, Tuba, has helped train him quite a bit too. And um, of course, uh, Luna's sister, Tora, has helped a lot, and it's uh, been primarily Mon doing most of the groundwork, but uh, we've run, we had Grandma Tecla today. Yeah. Now, what do you think of her? Isn't she something? Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> great. Yeah. She's just amazing. <laughs> and sure as heck, the freshest, greenest bear crap she yep. can find. Yep. Right in it, rolling in it. <laughs> so, yeah, we... Uh, we had a little bit of our own uh, camouflage on for a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you guys had a chance to look around uh, the settings there at the yard and stuff, yeah. too. Yeah. And uh, got to look at some of the other hounds as well. Yeah. 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 They're just, yeah, phenomenal. Just, uh, yeah, you've got a nice setup there, you know? Just. Kind of cool for you to be able to hike with two different sets well, of older is. dogs. It is, yeah. You know, that's you know that's one thing when we first came out last year, the um, the ability to see so many generations all in one yard there, you know, and to see from you know, um, <coughs> yeah, from uh, uh, Tora, you know, Grandma Tora, right down to the little guys. Yeah, it was just phenomenal. And, uh, They're all good dogs. Yeah, well, that's yeah, the thing. Every that's one of them. True. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think that's one thing that really drew us to the to them is that they're just so personable, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, as a breed, they're good, but these these dogs are outstanding. <laughs> yeah. You know. I mean, where do you go to have a dog you just got today? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know yeah. you were out. Yeah. Before, but now he's locked on to you. Yeah. And a lot of people question: Do you get a dog at eight weeks, or do you get a dog at sixteen? Eight is totally fine, 16 is totally fine. Yeah, yeah. The argument that some people make is that at 16, they don't bond as well. Mm -hmm. But I tell them, well, primarily if the, if the lineage is correct, yeah. the dog bonds to the handler immediately. He knows when his handler's there. Yeah. 
And the, today, the minute he found out, oh, you're my new handler, you guys are it, he's there. He's been locked on to you two since all day. Yeah. And uh, so, in my mind, the Destin program is very successful with this lineage. Yeah. I'm not saying you could do it with all lines, but this yeah. line you can definitely do it with. Yeah. And uh, we focus a lot on on setting that pup up right, so he's, he's just ready to go. Mm -hmm. Like when you get home, he's in your life. <laughs> It's yeah. not like you got to do a whole bunch to get him there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it is yeah. handy that way. Now, the other thing I like about what you guys have done is you came out and worked with him twice yeah. and spent the whole day. We had we had a couple of really good hikes. Mm -hmm. Now, the second hike we ended up, we took Sula and Baby yeah. Ray yeah. and yeah, that yeah. was <laughs> <laughs> wild. <laughs> They're hard workers. <laughs> so we had, we had fun with them. Yeah. But what it allowed uh, me to do is see your your um, nature and the way you respond to him, and I can gear that a little bit to him as well, right? Yeah. So I see it today that that little bit of uh, knowledge from what you instilled in me, yeah. I've been able to help him a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> So yeah, this is pretty cool. So we're in uh, British Columbia, Canada, and Eric and Helen, uh, they, they live out at Banff uh, in the National Park, and uh, they're conservation officers out there, and uh, they traveled out last night, camped out with their uh, folks there, Eric's folks, and uh, uh, came out this morning, and then uh, they'll uh, head back tomorrow, and Bjorn will be in Alberta, so that would be pretty cool. Now his, uh, his great-grandmother and I, we, we used to hike out in that part of the world. Um, I had uh, camp up in, uh, right at the start of the uh, Saskatchewan River. We, took, we went right to the headwaters, her and I. We hiked all down the, the Icefields Parkway. Her and I was uh, an incredible dog. That would be Tecla's mom, yeah. and just an incredible dog that that girl. And she, uh, she's the the four generations of this fella. So this is four generations of our dogs. He's hundreds of generations of Norway lineage. But uh, Camp is one of the old Ravenstone bloodlines that came out of Norway. Uh, Ravenstone was a UK breeder. And they went to Norway and Sweden and got some of the very best dogs. And we're very proud of that line. Mm -hmm. And this stable temperament, this ability to focus and stay by the handler is uh, cemented in a lot mm -hmm. by, uh, by that line. Leaf, of course, is one of the great Vin Malka dogs and a very, very good dog. That fancy gate we see on the rim trail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good leaf gate. He just fancy he stepper. Well, just at this age too, it was re it's really cool seeing him. He'll go out and then, uh, but he'll check back in, eh? Like, he's yeah. back in. Oh, where are you at? Okay. It is the you know, just, just to watch them little guys, eh? Yeah. They're yeah. they're so focused, so so keen to do yeah. the right thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a very very good dog. Well, I, again, I want to thank you both. This has been such fun, such a pleasure, and such a great honor. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, he has it made, this big fella. <laughs> yeah, and we'll get him back out for a hike, and I'll come that way one time. Yeah, too. definitely. Yeah, totally. yeah, bring his grandma and maybe even pretty boyly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I could definitely bring his mama. Yeah. Because she travels well. Yeah. Pretty boy, leave. He'd be just showing off in that park. <laughs> <laughs> Luna's an incredible female. Now, just while I'm on the topic of Luna, I am going to run this genetic match one more time. It's it's such a good match. So Pretty Boy Leaf and Luna will have another set, and then I'll switch. Now, I'm not 100% if I'm going to put Pretty Boy Leaf on Luna right off the bat or use Swix, and then use Leaf, uh, the, the third litter. But uh, Luna's such an incredible dog, I have plenty of options with her. So yeah. Well that's a pretty cool video. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> well this is the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> yeah, for a breeder, you couldn't dream this up. It's just, that's exactly how it's supposed to happen. Yeah. And new handlers, wow, how much better could it be, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Sorry, <laughs> He is. Yeah. yeah. I hate to stop the camera because this is really powerful stuff. But he's good, yeah. Yeah, that's a good dog. Yeah, that is a good dog. Well, all right, on you guys. That's a really cool video. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.